Hello and welcome. As many of you know, Yavapai College is transitioning much of its face-to-face -face content for courses to an online format. This video will discuss a few of the main things that you need to know as a student so that you can adapt to some of these changes. From the college's website at www.yc.edu, it is possible to log in by selecting the My YC button. From there, use your username and password to log in. Once you log in, you are taken to your student portal page. From the student portal page, you will find important information that you need as a student. Some of the important information that you need to know about is your official YC email. Check your official YC email often so that you can be up to date on any important information that the college may have for you. You will also find a button to the Canvas Learning Management System. This is where Yavapai College houses all of its content for courses in an online format. Let's take a look at Canvas now. We are currently looking at the Canvas dashboard in card view. If you do not see card view on your dashboard, you can do this by selecting the options button. That's the three dots in the upper right hand side. Make sure that you've selected card view. To enter a class from the Canvas dashboard, simply select it. You are then taken into a Canvas course. From within a Canvas course, there are a few basic things that you should know about. Your course and the content should be easy to navigate. Most of the content for Canvas courses is located in the Modules section. Let's take a look at this Modules section. Within Canvas, instructors use a few main activities for the online learning environment. One of these are discussion boards. Discussion boards consist of a prompt that should require you to research or think, and then reply to. To reply to a prompt, simply select the reply button. Once that button has been selected, a text box appears where you can type your response and then select post for others to see. Another common activity is quizzes. When taking a quiz, follow the instructions carefully, noting the parameters for the quiz. Once you're ready, select the take the quiz button, answer the questions, and select the Submit Quiz button at the bottom. Written assignments are common. Similar to quizzes, it is important to read the instructions carefully and note any parameters for the assignment. Once you are ready to submit an assignment, select the Submit Assignment button. Once the button has been selected, options become available at the bottom of the page that allow you to turn in the assignment. One way that you can turn in an assignment is through file upload. Another is through text entry. Instructors decide what options are available to you as a student to submit an assignment. This particular assignment has a file upload option. To upload a file, select the choose file button, select a file from your computer, Make sure that the file has been selected. You can know that the file has been selected because the file name shows up next to the Choose File button. Once the file has been chosen, select the Submit Assignment button. Another important aspect to online courses is that it's important to communicate with your instructor often. Canvas has an online communication system. It is accessed by clicking the Inbox button from the main navigation on the far left. To compose a message, select the Compose a New Message button from the top middle. The box that opens allows you to select the course that you would like to compose the message for. Select the drop-down, hover over Favorite Courses, navigate to the scroll bar, scroll down to the course in question, and select it. Once your course has been selected, select the person from that course that you would like to send a message to. Enter a subject, message, and then send. Additionally, some instructors will be conducting classes in a live format online. They will do this using what is called Zoom. You may find a new link in your course navigation titled Zoom. To join an online live 
class discussion simply select zoom and you should see an option to join a meeting the first time that you join a zoom meeting or a web conference meeting which is similar to Skype or FaceTime simply select join and you will be prompted to download a zoom file to your computer select yes and do it you should then be taken into the virtual online classroom you will only have to do this once all subsequent meetings that you join will be automatic when joining a meeting it is important to test your speaker and microphone to test the speaker and microphone just follow the prompts once you're all set up select join with computer audio when you're in the meeting you can mute yourself by clicking the mute button the options button next to the microphone allows you to select an alternate microphone or an alternate speaker you can also go back into the audio settings options by selecting audio settings and testing your speaker and mic you can choose to show or hide your video by toggling the start video button if you have multiple video options you can select the options button next to the start video and select an alternate camera to use when in class it is possible to share your screen with the class by selecting the share screen button you can choose what you would like to share you can choose to share your desktop and anything that you have on your desktop will be shown it is also possible to chat with your class by selecting the chat button when selecting the chat button a chat box appears on the far right by clicking at the bottom you can type a message to your class oftentimes if you're having a dif difficulty setting up your audio or video you can use the chat button to get help from classmates and or your instructor if you need additional help you can select the help button from the main navigation on the bottom left you can call the phone number for support at 928-771-6120 or click on the link for additional support information we at Yavapai College are excited to support you during this change. Thank you for your time.